worry about a swing coming your way as long as you don't touch him. You just go for a punch. It's like a counter. Treat it like a counter. Indeed, so Blades crossing in this game number one, and here we go. Welcome to Grand Finals here at Xeno 158. Lucina versus Robin. I mean, if you expected a Robin to be here in Grand Finals. I did, 100%. I mean, hey, th there's no doubting that Jewel had the talent and the wherewithal and the overall awareness in Smash to make it to a Grand Finals. But there are so many things standing in his way, so many barriers that he could not overcome, so many gates that he just could not kick down. And then he finally makes it here, but now he is in for a test against Mr. E, who beat him 2 to nil in Winner's Final. So what does he have to do to overcome it and reset the bracket and indeed win the tournament? He has win conditions, but what are they? Uh, he has to take two games for Mr. E. Solid, solid analysis, Osti. And now as he tries to get back using the platform, it's uh, easier said than done. But as, uh, again, Mr. E just able to approach and get these grabs, going to get a lot of knockback on neutral air. Yeah, I it mean, won't kill. neutral is a really strong, like, edge guard option, right? You see Mr. E being able to covers a lot of options as long as you try to go for the fadeaway. And that's what Mr. E, you know, does successfully. That's what happened in the first set against between these two, right? Is that Mr. E didn't really let Jewel play the game. He was, did a, just a fantastic job of just denying him stage access. The second he gets him airborne, does not let him back onto the stage. The second he gets him off stage to the sides, doesn't let him go back onto that ledge. That's how Mr. E is going to continue this game plan. He realizes this is the strength he has against Robin. A decided advantage for Mr. E to start things off, Austin. And I feel like it would be in the best interest of Jewel to uh, to keep things slower, uh, slower pace, kind of slow down the pace of the game and make Mr. E uh, kind of wear his patience thin and then strike. Because Mr. E is playing far too comfortably, far too quickly for Robins to negotiate, generally speaking. He needs to do something, and that stock loss is going to help Jewel for certain and allow him to establish uh, that pace of play. But he needs to take more initiative in doing so. Yeah, well, Jewel just caught Mystery with Ada's jump, got managed to get that lucky hit, but oh, oh no, my. stuck up. That's what happens, man. You know, you're going up a creek, no paddle in sight. You're just going to fall down to your ground. Great edge guard coming out from Mr. E. That's yeah. what you got to do against this character. Up the creek with no paddle and a class five rapid known as Mr. E. Tough, uh, he's tough for pretty much uh, any smasher to negotiate. But indeed, looking for more tournament glory here at Xeno 158. And he'll be caught with that, uh, with that arc fire. Yeah, Elfire? Not really sure. Uh, arc fire, yes. Sure, fire. that. Fire, arc fire, L fire, it, all, the whole thing. And then Inferno! Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, we're going to go for the, uh, the Nosferatu, yeah. Nosferatu again, try to absorb some of that health right back up on her. Yeah, Throws them back down to the ground, going to be able to set them up for the up air. And again, try to camp out these landings, not allow him to be able to get back onto the stage safe and sound. But Jules mixing it up a bit. He's getting him off stage, trying to throw out things. But he, I, honestly, I didn't even see Mystery holding onto that sword. He actually was holding on to Levin's sword. He got him off of his back, goes for the neutral air, out of shield. Mr. E one game away from winning his very first Xeno in Ultimate. You know how badly he wants that. He wants that so bad. Indeed, and, G and uh, Jewel with his back up against the wall here, it just seems like this isn't the uh, the optimal matchup for uh, for Robin. I'm not really sure what she can do just, just because Lucina is so well-rounded. Obviously, Robin will uh, have her game plan. Obviously, there are ways that she can execute upon it. But Lucina just does too many things at a proficient to good level. I feel like for uh, for Robin to really overcome that, Jewel, he'll need to play near flawless in this game number two. And he'll have to do it at Kalos, which honestly, I like this. If he's going to do it, he's going to do it here. And while there may be some truth into whole Lucina, you know, get, doing a lot against Robin to prevent her from being able, him or her, to be able to, you know, get his game plan. In this the case, thing hey. is, the thing is, Mr. E is in rare form today. He's actually playing out of his mind. I've never seen him play this on point. As I say that, as I start to build you up, Mr. E, that's what you do to me? You go <laughs> off stage, you miss the Dolphin Slash, and you fall off? Whatever, man. Welcome do to it the, again. Welcome I to dare you. <laughs> you make me so mad, Eric. Welcome to the commentator's curse, honestly. Uh, right. so we are very familiar with this here, of course. And, both and of us. Got the Arc Thunder again, throwing it out there just to try to rack up a little bit of damage against Mr. E. And again, going to go for the forward tilts. Really strong option. Good anti-air. Jewel's going to hold on to his double jump to get back onto the stage. You saw Mystery almost land that back air. Would have been really strong for him. Yeah, he does connect uh, 
with the back air on the opposite side. Mr. E caught napping, and just like that, uh, almost a whole stock lead. And the defense, I mean, the directional influence of Jewel, something to be admired just to stay alive. But Mr. E able to nullify that, chasing him off the ledge and batting him away with that sword. I mean, uh, going uh, going hard in the paint, Joel Embiid style. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, you're, you're from Brooklyn, right? I'm sorry about that. What's up? You're, you're, you're Brooklynite, right? So I'm yeah. sorry about that. Yeah. No, I... I, I you don't care? I just, I just ignore it, man. All right, right on. Trust the process. Anyway, neutral airs <laughs> by Mr. E. Looking good right now. However, the back air is going to take Mr. E down to his last stock in this game number two. Uh, there is hope yet for Jewel, and certainly hoping to tip the scales in his favor. That was a wacky exchange. You saw him throw the Levin Sword against Lucina. He actually swung with the forward air, and because he had the Levin Sword, it extended the hurt box. So he's able to like keep the uh, his forward out a little out a little bit longer so he can hit Mr. E. Fun stuff. Yeah, Jewel is so creative with how he utilizes this stuff, man. It's awesome. But, uh, yeah, but Mr. E, honestly, yeah. look how creative he is with that projectile. That's not even his projectile, but he just knows how to use item play. That's what you gotta do in this game, right? Even if your character doesn't have item play, you need to learn how to do it. So in case you do fight someone that has that. Exactly. I mean, if you're a uh, if you're a Lucina, you better believe that you you need to be a well-rounded player in order to take this uh, character all the way. And if you uh, if you have all the basics down, you can be nigh upon unstoppable. And certainly those Z drops, getting cheeky with the Levin Sword, and certainly getting cheeky here, taking that second stock, and Mr. E all of a sudden one stock away. But he does have some work to do. The thing is, you know, Jewel's got a strong lead here, right? He's got him at 95%, 109%. Connect, he has 11 sword ready to go. Could easily close out the stock and bring this to a game three. But it's going to be scary, right? Because you're still tight in socks against the likes of Mr. E, who just needs one hit to get something going. Look at Bates out the double jump, forcing out an up B. The stream freezes up. I can't see what's happening. Forward oh. smash. 64% calls him out. Calls connects him out. Connects the forward smash. Gets the kill. Brings it to a 2-0 victory. Mr. E is winning his very first Xeno of Ultimate in dominating fashion. I told you, man. What did I say? There was a lead. There was a lead. Mr. E just needed one hit. That's all he got. He finally found the hit. Took it all the way. Ate his double jump. Ate his recovery. Got the kill. Got the forward smash. Took it home.